Hey guys, I'm gonna do a little amp test here. I got this kicker ZX750.1. Got this hooked to my amp lab. This is basically a non reactive dummy load setup. I'm gonna be measuring power using an SMD AMM1. I'm gonna be doing certified power with it tuned uh, with a SMD DD1 up to 1% distortion. So let's go ahead and do a certified dyno run. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this test at 2 ohms because that's where this amp is rated for. And I'm going to go ahead and start the track. And you're going to see that distortion light. It might flicker on the way up to power 2, but right at the very end you should see it come on just for a split second right before it shuts down completely. So this is going to give us our certified power at 2 ohm. Here we go. There we go. 661. That's up to 1% distortion. That was at 13.22 volts. Not too, too bad. Alright, just for fun, let's try this at 1.6 ohm. I know for a fact that's the lowest I can go on this amp. I've tried it at 1 ohm, it just shuts off immediately. Okay, let me start the track over. There we go. 752 watts certified. That was at 13.2 volts. Pretty good. Alright, let's do some uncertified tests. Okay, we're going to do an uncertified test. This is up to clipping. We're going to do this at 2 ohm again. Okay, now on this one you should definitely see that distortion light come on because this one's going to go to clipping. There we go. 710 watts at 2 ohm. Thirteen point oh six volts. All right, let's go ahead and try a one point six ohm certified test. Now the amp isn't stable at one point six ohm, but we'll run it at that anyway. Just see what it does. Here we go. Seven hundred eighty four watts. That was at twelve point six seven volts. Okay, now we're going to do some dynamic RMS test. This is still RMS. Start off at two ohm. Seven ninety three. Not too shabby. All right, and that was at thirteen point six two volts. Let's go ahead and try a one point six ohm test. Again, even on dynamic, I can't run this amp at one ohm. It does shut off. Let's try this again.
918 watts. It's pretty damn good. So just that extra 0.4 ohm less makes a big difference. Okay, so I'm running this at 1.6 ohms right now. I'm going to cut this back to just below distortion. 660 watts we're putting out right now at a 1.6 ohm load. 12.12 volts. It's getting pretty hot. Time right now is 1012. Let's see how long this thing will run for before it goes into thermal shutdown. Okay, so it's 10.56 now. I've been running this thing for like 45 minutes or so. And it's still putting out 640 watts roughly. And it is pretty damn hot. Um, I don't think it's shut down. I haven't noticed it shut off or anything and come back on. And we're still running at 1.6 ohms. So I would say you could run this thing at 1.6 ohms all day long, probably 1.5. Um, you cannot go to 1 ohm with this thing. It will shut off almost immediately from overcurrent protection. But 1.6 ohm doesn't seem to bother this thing at all. And that is a really hard test. If it's gone this long, if it hasn't shut off, I mean, I was doing some other stuff. If it hasn't shut off, I'd be really surprised. Um, it probably has gone into thermal protection at one point during this test. I didn't hear it. Usually you'll hear the relay click, and I've been right next to it. Uh, that's pretty damn impressive. My... Uh, my dyno is damn hot. I mean, that is, you can barely even touch it. So it's definitely uh, putting out some power. So I would say you could run this thing all day. I mean, this is definitely not simulating music. This is just a pure sine wave, 40 hertz for 45 minutes is hard, hard, hard on this amplifier. So uh, yeah, go ahead and do it.